You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Um, hey guys, um, Alex here, and I've uh, since pretty much completed building uh, the body, the head, the waist, and where the arms? I have no idea where the arms went. Uh, oh, sorry, arms are already attached. <laughs> Derp. Um, and the legs. 
So anyway, um, so I figured in the middle of the process of, you know, like building up the kit and stuff like that, I figured I'd just kind of give you a uh, initial impression as far as the building process and how, you know, what I think about and my thoughts on the kit. Um, as far as the, you know, like the runners and, you know, uh, the quality of the parts, they're actually not that bad. Um, however, I did run into a couple of issues where there was just, you know, a little bit of flash. And to be honest, uh, the process of me putting together this kit has been a lot longer because of the fact that I'm, I'm pretty much using my freaking, uh, my sanding stick the whole time. Um, this is just a, a Wave uh, HT263 800 grit uh, sanding stick. Um, it's fairly old, but... Uh, getting the job done but yeah I mean you can tell that I've been kind of sending down every single piece um, that I've been encountering um, so yeah I mean flash is a little bit uh, of an issue um, you can see in, even in the molding box there's a very large dip in there um, so yeah I mean the, there's that big giant gaping hole like uh, you know if I was if I was a stickler for you know taking care of stuff like that I'd probably have to fill that in with putty so um, so yeah I mean it's it's common it's almost everywhere even on the back of the shoulder piece um, you can see better in that flight reflection see um, right there um, so yeah I mean it's just things like that is is fairly common and I suppose uh, you know, that's you get what you pay for. I think I paid 40 40,000 won for this uh, for this kit. So um, It's probably maybe like 35 US um, And I remember I remember when I ordered I or actually ordered this when I was in the hospital um, Yeah, when I was actually in the hospital uh, You know like building kits and I just you know, I was running out of stuff to build, so I actually ordered this and never actually got around to it until today. That was like two years ago. Yeah, July 2015, so. Yeah, um, anyway, uh, just to get back on track. So that's, those are my initial thoughts as far as the quality of the plastic goes. Now, as far as the molding and stuff, I've had, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit mm, iffy about the quality of the, uh, the poly caps, because, um, uh, I mean, like some of the some of the pieces, they, they just straight up just didn't fit well. Um, like for example, uh, in the in the ankle, um, there's a really really long, uh, you know, like a peg, and the the way it's the way it's actually put together is I'm I'm actually not a big fan of it because um, I've had to push it together so like so like so hard that the actual peg is like starting to warp in the plastic. Let me explain what I mean by that. So you have one area like this, which has a has a slight indent into it to uh, accommodate for the other half of the peg here, right? Um, now, the problem with it is, is that it's not a solid piece of plastic. It's, you know, it's just the top, the top edge of this piece here and then you have the peg on top. So basically, if I'm trying to push it really, really hard up into a poly cap and it's just not fitting well, this piece, because it's so weak, it's just gonna start bending that way because it's not reinforced on the other side. So um, that actually happened with uh, this waste part and I had to super glue it together. Uh, I think you can kind of see the super glue. Um, just to keep it from warping and bending and breaking off the peg before I could uh, manage to squeeze and push really hard into into the uh, the chest uh, right there. So um, just you know the the poly caps they don't uh, they don't fully cover up the of the ball because I mean basically what you want is you want a poly cap that has uh, enough enough uh, depth so that it can encompass more than maybe seven eighths of the entire peg or the you know the ball that's going into the socket but the problem is it's only grabbing about like half of it so it's just really easy for it to pop out um so that's um that's one thing i've been dealing with so what i've been kind of doing is um is shaving down the top of the ball so that it'll go deeper in that way the edges of the poly cap can kind of uh you know encompass the the ball joint right there so that's probably one thing that you should kind of uh you know look out for um it's 
yeah, I mean the polycaps, they're, they're just not fitting very well. That's, I mean, that's probably the biggest issue I'm having with this. Um, and if, uh, if you do have this kit or you plan on getting it, um, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a really, really bad uh, mistake on their part. Um, but step number 83, um, uh, uh, excuse me about the, the pen. I, I, I mark all the pieces that I actually finished putting together, but step 83, there is a part which is going to be C25 on the runner, which is basically the, uh, you know, the T, the T shaped, uh, joint to attach the two legs onto the, you know, the intersection that'll go up into the, uh, the waist part. But basically this peg that goes into the bottom of the waist unit, right in, into, into there, um, the peg was just molded way too big. So I had to, I had to straight up take a file to this thing and shave it down a, a considerable amount. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, I don't know if, uh, you know, if it's just my kit or if other people have built that. I'm pretty sure I've seen in the comments that other people have actually, they have, they've had experience building this kit. So, um, you know, if you have the same problem, let me know. Um, uh, but this is, that's the problem that I had as far as this waist unit goes. Um, I haven't started putting together any of the, uh, the armor parts or anything like that. Um, because I just want to get the frame together and I want to just paint the frame and then do all the armor parts, uh, separately because they're just, they're going to get painted anyway. So, um, that's the deal as far as, uh, you know, the process of this kit goes so far. I've, um, I've made it out to step number, what is it? Like 80, 84. Um, basically just finished the inner frame and um and then we have you know like the weapons and stuff like that continuing on as well as the the stand that's left so um i'm pretty much done i've only got as far as the manual goes uh one two three four but these are all like stuff that's you know like superficial the only thing that's left is you know really the stand and stuff like that so um this kit is obviously going to take me a lot longer to do because there's just so many uh armor pieces. I mean, I'm pretty much done with the frame, which is, which has been the easiest part to this kit, but I still have a plethora of armor pieces to go. I mean, this, this whole stack, that whole stack, that whole stack back there. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, got a lot of work to do, but one good thing, or one thing that I'm actually pretty impressed about is the fact that the panel lines on this kit are phenomenal. Um, there's a lot of detail on each of these kits, uh, the, like the armor panels and stuff like that. There's a lot of like already, uh, you know, carved out uh, like panel lines and stuff like that as well. So I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty impressed with, uh, with how the, uh, you know, with the panel lines and everything that's inside this kit. Um, let me give you another example. It's just, yeah, I mean, you probably would, wouldn't have to do much in order to, um, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, detail it up and stuff as far as, uh, like, uh, you know, panel lines and, uh, you know, detailing goes, because they're pretty well paneled, paneled. Um, that's a really good example of pretty good panel lining right there. Uh, let's, see, let's see if we can catch the light, but yeah. So anyway, um, that's my update as far as this, uh, first initial work in progress goes. Um, I'm probably going to be, uh, you know, snapping a little bit more and maybe start a little bit uh, processing the uh, some of the armor parts and stuff like that that I have to get around to. Um, again, I think I think my reasons for being a little bit daunted by this kit are justified, and the fact that I know it's going to take me a long time to finish this kit, but um, it's okay, you know. Uh, It'll just, it'll give me something to do. Um, I just hope I don't kind of get like burnt out by you know, like all the disappointment and like the quality, but it's not bad. Um, I've heard worse things about some, uh, mechanic, mechanic or part, uh, kits as well as a lot of Daban kits. Um, not too many bad things about, uh, Dragon Momoko, but, um, yeah, I mean, this is my first uh, model comprehend kit and so far it's not bad. It's, I think it's. I mean, for 40 bucks, honestly, you're getting so much kit. I, you can't really complain about having to do a little bit of extra work. So um, that's my stance as far as that goes so far. So 
I'll uh, catch you guys in the next uh, work in progress, okay? Bye.